Okay, now we're going to talk about parameters and specifically how to pass a parameter to a subroutine or a macro. So what is a parameter? A parameter is input. You just think of it like that. A parameter is input. You, you have some input that you want to give your subroutine. So how do we allow our subroutine to take input? Well, all you do is in the parentheses of your subroutine, so here's our subroutine that we want to modify so that it, it accepts some input. In order to accept some input, we have to tell the subroutine what kind of input we, we want it to accept. So we want our, our subroutine here to, select, to accept a string variable. So I'm going to do str var as string. So I'm going to declare a string variable here. This is my input. This is my parameter. It's a variable. Notice I declared it, but I didn't use the word dim. And that's because when you declare your variables, when you declare your parameters, you don't need to put the word dim. So in parentheses, you don't need to, you don't need to use the word dim. So what this does, it allows this macro to take this variable as input as a parameter and that variable is declared as a string variable so now I can use this parameter strvar and I can have the message box display whatever's in that parameter so here's my parameter now I can use it in my code how do I implement this well I implement it by just um, Putting, you know, before I did this, call my first macro. But now that I want to pass it in something, I put a open parentheses and look what happens. It says str var as string, which sort of tells me this is a, this accepts a parameter. It needs a parameter, so I'll put hello, and then I'll I'll do that. I'll close it with a close parentheses. So now what's going on is I'm passing this string into this macro. Basically, this is the parameter for this macro. And if I look at this macro, here it is, it's telling me that it accepts a string parameter, which makes sense, right? Here's my string parameter. This thing accepts a string parameter. So everything should work out fine. So when I run this and I click Run, I get exactly what I expect, hello. If I change this to a high and I run it, I get high. Notice what's happening. This is the parameter being passed to this macro uh, through this framework here, where I have declared a variable in parentheses, and I can use that variable down here. And that variable is, is the parameter. Um, notice what happens if I go down here and I click Run. So if I click Run down here, I get a box that pops up. Why does that happen? Because now, now that I added a parameter to this my first macro subroutine, I can't just run it. I need I need to supply it. I need to I need to get that parameter first, right? So that's why the box pops up. Because you need to select the correct macro, which is this my second macro to run that will call the first one, right? That's why that's why when you go down here, like you can't just run this subroutine. You need to you need to have the proper flow of information. This subroutine needs a parameter. You can't just run it. And the parameter comes from here in this subroutine, my second macro. So if I want to run it and I'm in this subroutine, I have to click run, but then I have to select the correct uh, macro, which is this macro, my second macro. And now I run it. And it'll it'll show me high. One other thing is that you can pass in multiple parameters. So if I do this, hello, and then I have, let's say I have another parameter, world. Now I want to pass in two string parameters, so I have to modify this to be str var two as string. And now I can. I can append these, so I could do something like this. 
you append text by by doing you know you could by doing the ampersand and then quotes around anything you want to put in between and then another ampersand and then str var2 so look what this what do you think this is going to what's the message box going to show now it should show the first parameter and then separated by a dash the second parameter and notice using ampersands to append text and you could add text by just putting it in parentheses. So if I run this now, if I go up here and I click F5, I get hello dash world, right? Um, similarly, you can add other parameters, like if you if you have a, a num variable num as long, you can pass in numbers, right? And you can append that too. Let's see, uh, that should work. So if we click run here, oh, this is not going to work with that. Oh, overflow. Uh, long cannot take that many, I guess. So let's stop that. Yeah. So we got an error because I made the number too big. You know, that was one of the things we saw in the variables video. You know, you got to watch that. So now let me just add something here, you know, whatever. I just want to show you how you can append data. You can append variable data. And if I run this now, there we go. Hello world. And then you have a number. Um, <clears throat> so the main point of this video is passing parameters and parameters again are just input you pass them inside the parentheses that you want to receive data as input the subroutine that you want to have input um, and you just declare it like a variable but you don't need you don't need the dim keyword and then you can use those variables to do whatever you want uh, here I put it in a message box by appending it with the ampersand and, and things like that uh, but you can do anything you want with these variables okay so this leads into functions, which we're going to take a look at next.